Hey, what's up everyone? Joey Kissimmee here with IncomePress.com and in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to use the intros and, and the outro clips that I did on iVipid.com and how I'm going to use them and, and put them together with the videos that I'll be recording and producing for my new niche site uh, blog, which is SimpleWeekendProjects.com and I'm also going to show you the software I'm going to be doing and, and, and how I put everything together in there, okay? Now, these videos are going to be for like the first few posts that I'm going to be uh, publishing on that blog. Okay. And these videos are videos that I did a long time ago. They're like a tutorial videos on how I uh, built my, uh, what you call it, the, my home theater. Okay. And uh, those videos are like really popular in, in that, in those forums and in that market over there. Okay. I mean, I think it's like total six videos, five or six videos. And combined, they have like over 30,000, close to 40,000 views. So they got a lot of comments there, you know, a lot of great reviews and stuff like that. So I'm going to be using those videos for my first post. Now, <laughs> a fair warning, guys, these videos are old. They're ancient. They date back to 2008. I mean, I was still working for Walmart back then, and I was just starting doing, just started learning and working with like videos and all that stuff. And I had a real cheap camera. I really didn't know what I was doing. I can't even remember the the software I edited those videos in. So they're real small. They're like 320 by 240 or something like that. And back then, that's as big as you could, you know, do or upload to YouTube. It ain't like now where you could upload like a really huge file. Back then you were limited to the amount uh, that of time and the size of the video. So it was really small, but I'm going to work with them. You know, these videos are really good. They're uh, good quality. They're good tutorials. And, uh, you know, so I think I could get away with it. Plus, with the editing skills that I have now, which is just a little bit better than before, <laughs> you know, um, I think I could pull it off. So let me just go ahead and, and start the tutorial and just show you what I'm going to do, okay, and how I'm going to do it. Now, right here you see my, the software that I'm going to be using, which is ScreenFlow. It's, it's, it's a Mac. It's for Mac. And I'm sure you could do this the same thing. Uh, if you're on a PC, you could use Camtasia, okay? I know you could do it there. But uh, on a Mac, ScreenFlow is just, I mean, it's a bomb. I love it. So basically, ScreenFlow is just a screen capturing uh, software it's not really made to edit and all that stuff unless you do a screen capture recording first so basically it, it, what i do and this is how i hack into this right or how i do it is i do a screen capture recording you know first like i don't know two three seconds just like you see right here so i do a little real quick recording and then i just go ahead and uh, delete it that's it just delete those two things because i really don't need them okay just like so i can have a file to go ahead and uh, and work with, and then I just go ahead and uh, and save it, okay? And I name that uh, that thing, okay? So I'm gonna put. I already got two of them there that I did. So I'm gonna do this one. Just save it. That way I could be able to save the work and all that stuff in case it crashes, right? So now, okay. Now what am I gonna do? Well, um, I already got the intros done, all right? Like um, I showed you earlier or in the other video when I did these intros. So all I'm gonna do is just uh, drag and drop them right here, okay? And the way you do that, just get up here to this little icon where it says, I think it's like a little note, musical note or something. It's a media thing. So you put them there, okay? Or you could just find them like through here or, or whatever, right? And then I'm actually going to take the actual um, the video that I'm going to be using, okay, which is uh, the first one of the first videos, and I'm just going to do the same uh, the same thing there, okay. Now I'm also going to use some musical backgrounds because, as I said, these videos are really old. The audio ain't quite there. I mean, they, it just sucks, guys. It really sucks. The reason I'm using these is because these, like I said, these videos, the the content itself is 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 badass so that is the only reason why i'm doing it and if not i'd, I'd have to redo the entire thing <laughs> you know i really don't feel like building another home theater anyways so i'm gonna do the same thing with the music just drag it back drop there okay so the first thing that i'm gonna do before doing any of the intros or anything i'm actually going to work with the 
actual video okay because i don't like to have anything else here messing with me or nothing uh i just like to actually work with what i'm doing which what i'm going to be slicing and dicing and all that stuff okay now as you can see here look at this it's really small video and this entire black area here that's the size that the video is going to come out okay so I'm gonna go here to this video icon and right here where it says scale, basically put it up to as big as I can. All right, and look, as you can see at 400%, that, has, that is as big as I could get. I can't even fill this entire area. Okay, so that's gonna suck <laughs> really bad. So what I'm gonna have to do is pretty much just stretch it out I want to uh, hold down the shift key on my keyboard so I won't so everything will stay in proportion and what I'm gonna do is try to stretch it out let me scroll this to the top stretch it out to as big as I can so the first thing I do before I try to fill in the left and right side I fill in the top parts okay just so it could stay in proportion and then I center it you see how um screen flow automatically gives you those little lines there that lets you know that everything's centered and then pretty much i go ahead and uh and click on play and i'm sure you could i mean look at this i can't <laughs> can you hear that the music's probably the only good thing now look at the video uh, oh my god <laughs> I can't believe this. This is, this is crazy. Uh, it's just it, almost embarrassing just looking at myself back then and when I started and all that stuff. Anyways, uh, this intro here, I'm going to be using a new intro. Let me go ahead and just mute this real quick because this is kind of bugging me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let's go back to video. I don't want this intro, okay, because I created a new one. Remember, I'm using my unfair advantage here which is what I know now and the experience that I have and all that stuff, okay? Even though this video is not top quality as far as visual and audio, I could still get away with, with this stuff, like the intros and so forth, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look for an entry point, click on the uh, O, letter O key on the, the thing, and then I'm just gonna de delete that entire area here, okay? That's gonna give me a starting point of what I want. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the video, watch it and see if there's anything else that I got to edit. And if I do, I just go ahead and make sure I highlight that. Click on the, the T, the letter T key on the on the keyboard just to split it. All right. Uh, keep doing it. If I want to go ahead and delete other, something else, you know what I mean? Take that piece out, put this area here and all that stuff. Right. Let me just go ahead and put that together. Because this video, I actually went through the entire thing and it's actually good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is go to the end. All right. And this area here where there's me without a I can't believe <laughs> all right, this area here at the end. OK, I don't want that area. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go ahead and, and delete that area because I already have an out row. OK, so again, once I got everything done right down here, you could actually scroll down and see what you got done here. Okay. Go through the entire video, make sure it looks good and all that stuff. And, um, you know what I mean? And if you're happy, then you could start piecing everything together. Okay. So what I like to do is just go ahead and start everything at the end. All right. Actually, I like to put the music first. So I've got this nice, cool musical thing here. All right, and you see that it's a little bit longer than the, the actual video clip. Well, my out rows, my intros and my out rows have music, so I don't need that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, okay? Now I could go ahead and start piecing the intros and the out rows together. So the first thing I do is I go ahead and uh, do the out row right up into here, okay? And then I'm also gonna go here and fill in the gaps. All right, as you can see, you just drag it up there and about 150%, okay? Uh, just go ahead and type it in there because I already know it's 150% on my end. Over here, that's how I got it configured. Anyways, uh, but you can see I filled in the gaps really nice and stuff, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is just click on uh, Control and A for to go ahead and uh, highlight everything and just drag this over here. I'm gonna click on here so this, this uh, little line thing here is all the way at the beginning. I'll go back to my media files 
and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag my intro there okay and again I'm going to highlight this entire thing here because now we're just gonna go drag it right to the edge of the intro all right now you want to go ahead and put this line bar right there at the end and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that just so I could go ahead and fill in the gaps there again go here scroll that let me just go ahead and type it in 150 if you guys are using uh, you know screen flow it might be different for you maybe 200% it depends on the settings that you put it at but that's pretty much it okay now let me go ahead and put turn on the audio on this okay I would go ahead and just click on play real quick just to see what uh, what the deal is make sure everything's looking good I'm really loving that intro let me tell you okay and then the actual video is going to start and as you can hear um, the actual audio here okay it's overriding uh, the uh, my audio my voice okay so what I want to do here make sure I hear I got here the icon the music icon or the audio icon right here where it says volume I actually start with 10 okay at 10 percent so I drop it at 10 percent okay you could actually do the ducking but I really don't like that it just goes up and down all the time it, it, it just I don't know I'd like actually doing it right here I start at 10 percent I listen through it all the way through and if it's too low then I'll go ahead and put it up at 15 percent um, and all the way to 20 20 is usually a good number if you know your audio here is good now I already did one of these already and this audio is is really not top quality so I'm forced to put the musical well, no, not that one there uh, the musical background at 10% okay so that'll be good then you know again Seven. go through it okay I don't know if you could hear <laughs> I can't believe that's that's how my house used to look like before when I was doing all that stuff this is a current house that I live in right now and I did uh built a home theater there it looks beautiful i'll show you pictures of it below this video or something okay but um and that's pretty much it guys <laughs> right here you just go through it and if you're happy with the results and everything is looking good then you just go ahead and uh right up here you click on file click on export okay and, and uh pick the folder that you're going to be doing it on okay and i actually like to put it at uh, you know 75% 1440 by 810 that gives me an HD version of this video here okay um, and then uh, you know once it's done then you could go ahead and upload it to YouTube and all that stuff I'll go ahead and have a, a link to this video uh, once I upload it to to YouTube so you guys could check it out and, and let me know how it looks like or whatever but you know the video is not or the visual and the audio is not top top quality like the way i like it to be now but the content is so good it's gotten great great reviews from uh, all the people there throughout the years like i'm saying this is like back in 2008 people are still loving this uh till now it's 2013 now and they're still loving it okay and uh but i spiffed it up you know with by putting a nice little intro a nice outro to it some musical background here just to um, let me click on cancel here real quick just to to hide all the the bad effects from the video okay and when you actually play the entire thing you really can't tell okay uh, the only thing is that I'm not gonna like is these these background parts here okay but if I actually try to extend that anymore it's just really gonna go the, the visuals just gonna go really bad so you know it's just something I'm just gonna have to live with but you know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results so far I've done already three of them and I'm gonna do the rest of them uh, right now so all right so let me know what you think of this okay uh, and, and that's pretty much it Joey Kasimi peace love you for free out Thank you.